hey everyone welcome back to the channel we're doing another video and this is a tag video um uh, a tag that i've really enjoyed watching quite a lot on youtube recently i watch youtube all the time and one of the tags that has been popping up a lot is the assumptions tag so basically uh how this tag works is um the people who watch or would like to know something about you or something they assume about you they send those in and i did it via instagram i basically did a question on Instagram and I'm like what are your assumptions about me and I've got a couple of responses <laughs> I've got a couple of responses that I feel like some needed to be addressed at some point and some don't need to be addressed but hey they're in the video they're in the assumptions thing and we're gonna get into them so if you'd like to see what people assume about me and have me correct those assumptions or agree with those assumptions then definitely do keep watching all right so we're gonna get started there are a lot of uh people who sort of thought one particular thing and obviously there were different others so if there is assumption that an assumption that is like one assumption from five different people then i'm just going to mention that one assumption and then explain around that but we're going to get into this because this this is real real interesting <laughs> okay all right the first one says you don't consume alcohol or very seldom very very seldom um i do consume alcohol i had a glass of gin last night uh today is actually a holiday that's why i'm filming this today because it's a public holiday uh but i i do consume alcohol i don't consume alcohol a lot this is very very true uh i try not to consume alcohol during the week if i am um unless i'm i'm going out for lunch or dinner or whatever and decide to have a glass of wine or whatever but um to be honest before ever since going on the healthy journey i've really drastically reduced the amount of alcohol that i uh take not because i don't um i'm doing it because of the healthy eating or what have you yes that is part of the reason but also at the same time um i I just I just got so used to it uh, when I started healthy eating that I don't um, consume much of it anymore. Of course, over the weekends when I'm with friends or when I'm with uh, Bay or when I'm with whoever, I will have um, alcohol. It I, I do. It depends. And if I do, if I am drinking alcohol, I'm definitely a fan of white wine. Um, I don't like sparkling wines and champagnes. I'm, I'm weird like that i don't like sparkling wines and champagnes uh but white wine red wine and gin definitely you got me you got me the next one is you are strict and you do not allow people to bully you for a good time a good amount of my life i did allow people to bully me so there's that but um no at this point i feel like i am far too grown okay to have somebody bully me i'm not strict i am very um firm in my beliefs i'm very straight in what i believe and in how i feel things should be done or whatever i'm not narrow-minded if i feel like my way is wrong or if i feel like i need to listen to a different perspective i definitely do that uh but for the most part no strict no um firm yes a little bit firm definitely but strict i feel like it takes it a little bit too far but no letting people bully me absolutely not not anymore used to happen in school used to happen a little bit after school but it doesn't happen much anymore uh, that you studied law Oof, i wish i had that no i actually don't wish i had studied law no as much as i'm a theory lover i'm somebody who actually appreciated more theory as opposed to numbers i did not study law i studied international relations not political relations international relations project management and media studies and communication that's what i studied lots of you know double majoring happening there but yeah that's very really much but not law not law. you have a soft interior coupled with a tightly disciplined control of emotions absolutely on the inside very very soft very very mushy very very just like terrible cry like kim kardashian kind of cry terrible very very soft on the inside uh i mean i watch Grey's anatomy and i'm crying every week that's how bad it is um but 
uh, yes, I tightly control my emotions. Uh, as much as I'm soft, I get very upset as well. And when I get upset, I try to bring it back. Uh, but I do. I'm, 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 I'm human as well, you know. But I don't, I try by all means not to um, project um, especially negative emotions out there like anger and whatever. A lot of the time, everything is kept tightly controlled inside that you work in construction and engineering absolutely that is uh, the field of work that i am in um obviously i do project management in this uh, in in this industry but yes i am in the construction and engineering industry you are absolutely correct I must have mentioned that at some point right i must have um, that you are really rich to afford a beautiful space and car uh rich i wish i was no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just, you know, sometimes I feel like when you say this stuff, it sort of seems so cliche and people don't believe it. When you actually say that you work hard for what you have and you are very consistent in how you, you plan. For me, I plan everything in terms of the cars that I have and in terms of the home, the this, the that. You know, I plan everything. It's honestly just working and doing side work as well in terms of work work, not like YouTube or whatever, doing side work that will bring in some uh, money as well. So it's, it's, I can't say I'm, I'm not rich. And Nafuti, what is the definition of rich? Can somebody explain to me like what, what threshold must you pass to be called rich? Because I'm definitely not above that threshold. Uh, me, I'm here. I'm here. That is an incorrect assumption. I'm just middle class black South African. Okay? You're a neat freak. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is something that I actually feel like I'm a little bit of an OCD person as well in this regard. I am definitely, definitely a neat freak. I do not like untidy spaces. I do not like an untidy, especially two spaces, which y'all can even ask my sister about, my family members, my friends, people who know me. Two spaces, I cannot tolerate them being untidy is the kitchen back there and the bathroom bathrooms okay i i i cannot stand a dirty kitchen and a dirty bathroom i cannot i cannot because i feel like people use those spaces right there's there's food there's this there's this and uh, I, we don't have time for the cockroaches and things like mm, 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 mm. no so for me yes i'm a neat freak with everything actually the house is just continuously neat the only thing that I struggle to keep neat is my car. <laughs> but it's not, you know, untidy to such. It's just got things in it. Maybe like a jacket here and there, the shoes or whatever. But everything else, 99.9% .9 of the time is extremely neat. I cannot function when there's a mess in the space that I'm in. Cannot. So yes. What's the next one? Uh, you're single. No, I'm not. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm just not somebody who uh, talks or shows my relationship on social media, but I am not. I'm not single. I am seeing somebody. I have been seeing this person for a, for a while now, and uh, we're great. We're great. I'm not single. <laughs> Sorry. But I'm not single. I haven't been single for a while. Um, but I'm happy. I'm in a very, very good space. I'm happy. Let's hope this person keeps me happy for a while because, yeah. That you are in a stable and committed relationship. Absolutely, I am. I am. That is very, very much correct. Mm -hmm. You are a perfectionist and you're very, very hard on yourself. Absolutely. Lutely. <laughs> I'm making up that word. But yes, this is very, very correct, Queen. I am very much a perfectionist and I'm hard on myself. If I don't like the way this video looks, I'll probably refilm it again as opposed to putting it up. Um, if I just, everything must be done to the absolute complete T. I feel like if somebody else is doing it and I've asked them to do it, but I feel like they're not doing it the way that I would want them to do it, then I'll do it myself. Um, it's just the way that I am. I've, I've, I've been that way for a really, really long time. 
as long as I've known myself, I've been a perfectionist. So yes, this is very, very correct. Uh, you are hardworking. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. Like, I work when I'm home. I work when I'm at work. I'm constantly working. With YouTube, this is work for me because I feel like it's, it's not downtime. I'm doing this. I love doing it. Work must be fun for me, so I love doing it. Uh, but yes, I, can't, I, I don't like to idle. I don't like to not be doing anything. So yes, I'm constantly doing work. I'm constantly doing something or other. This is very true. Very, very hard working. Working on something right now. That is taking up a lot of my time as well. So yeah, yeah. Uh, born from a rich family. Um, <laughs> actually, actually, no. I am not. Um, what's the threshold? What's the threshold of, of what uh, rich is? Um, but no, we're not born from a rich family. Look, time, time changes. Um, people change. Um, work happens. Uh, people evolve in their lives. But I will not sit here and tell you that we're rich. Because, man, I wish we were. I wish we could travel the whole world at any given time. I wish I could own Dior bags and Gucci bags and this and that and the other. I don't. So I really cannot uh, agree to, the, to that statement. I think um, my family is a middle class black family. We're not rich. I don't know where, where, where people uh, get that from. Um, uh, I think... That's it. I think the last one that I got, which I forgot to uh, screenshot, was um, whether I am bisexual. Absolutely. I have been for all my life. Everybody who's known that about me knows that I like girls and I like guys. It's a thing. Very rarely ever attracted to girls. If I am attracted to girls, then there is something incredibly magical about that person that makes me attracted to them. But yes, I am a double adapter. I love all people, black, white, colored, Indian, women, men. For me, it really doesn't matter. I don't see all of those things. But yes, I am. And that's pretty much it. That's it. Those are the assumptions that have been made about me. And I hope I have corrected them. And I hope I have articulated and explained myself uh, very well in the ones that I felt were incorrect. And I explained why I felt they were incorrect. But for the most part, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you to everybody who sent in through the assumptions so that this video was even possible. And I will go now and I'll definitely see you in the next one.